How's it going traders? Your boy TJ is back with another video. I'm going to go over the prop firms in the forex industry, the pros and cons, why you should or shouldn't buy one of these prop firm challenges and if they are actually beneficial, the worst moments that have happened to people on the prop firm challenges, including myself, talking about how they can change your life, but also why prop firms always win. If you are new to trading or want to join up my free trading group, link is down below in the description. It's completely free. I will post live screenshots of the trades I take. We're up 5% this week, so make sure to check it out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Prop firms are the new takeovers of live accounts. You can put £500 into a 100k challenge account with a potential return of getting 100k funded, which means 1% is one thousand dollars the potential is absolutely huge there's always a catch you can lose the challenge pretty pretty fast take a look at this for example true forex fund they use a third party broker software meaning if you take a look at this trade right here you can see close for minus 1.4k but when you're looking at the actual trade it doesn't close it this is happening to too many people and the problem is a buyer like us we have no protection terms conditions are set so you can't get a refund this is a massive massive problem with these prop firms so make sure you are using a good one was passing these challenges there are minimum trading days on the challenges for example you have 10 days to pass phase one after passing that phase you get put into phase two which is also minimum 10 days now the profit changes from 10% on phase one to 8% depending on the prop firm to 5% on phase two. Please remember there is a third phase which is the funded account. Just, just because you pass both phases doesn't mean you are fully funded. You still have to make money on the funded account which is something that you need to be very very careful. Of. Prop firms now are starting to decrease their trading days making it lower and lower to five days to even zero days which can be beneficial if you're looking to get funded fast and get rich quick. The problem is this gives you an addictive personality trait in trying to get funded too quick. You are then rushing to get funded, to get these accounts, which can only have a negative impact on your trading. Your trading plan, if you have one set where you can only trade twice a day, use 1% risk, 0.5% risk, most people are trying to trade two, three, four, five percent, and sometimes even going over the max drawdown, which can be really, really crucial and end up losing the account. When you lose the account, you can't get your money. And this is what I'm trying to say with these prop firms. When you fail, you fail. You can't get your money back. You're done for. The terms and conditions, they make you tick boxes. So you can't get refunded, no matter if it's their fault. Like I said, with the true Forex funds, this company are literally on their emails going, we use a third party software, but we can't take any liability for anything that goes wrong with the servers, even though it's on their server and it's to do with their third party. This is the whole massive, massive problem with prop firms and you must be careful. Traders have even gone to the extent of not getting their payouts. A massive problem. Think about the amount of customers that are buying these challenges, left, right and center, yet they're not passing, so their money's gone. However, the people that are successful and pass, they aren't. A way that prop firms manipulate their customers is through commission charge and spreads. They will have high amounts of commission charge per each trade, or when you enter in a trade, it wouldn't be tight spreads where on a live account, you might be a pip away. You could be five, 10 pips away. If you're using high risk, you're gonna fail. We've got to a point in trading now, in this prop firm industry, where too many people are failing these challenges and they are making themselves go bankrupt, not having food on the table. When they get paid, their money goes straight to the prop firms and then you, they have no money. It's a massive problem at the moment in the Forex industry with these prop firms because it's hard to regulate. I wanted to make this video to look after all of my viewers who watch my content. I know a lot of people buy prop firm challenges, including myself. The true Forex funds is a great demonstration of even someone like myself getting, well, basically getting scammed. A big thing with these prop firms is the capital is just getting bigger and bigger. They started at 10K, then 25, then 50, 100, 200, some even 400K. 400K funding. But if you go and read the terms and conditions, 
they'll only give you max 600k funding. But my advice would be use the lower size account. The smaller capital, my friend, 19 years of age, uni student, 4.7k profit on a 25k account. That is how much he made. Beautiful stuff. You don't need to have a big size account. And that, that's what I want to try and say to you guys. Compound these lo these funded accounts. When you compound these funded accounts, you will be able to make profit. And your psychology improves. You're not trying to make 10k on a 10k account. It's not going to happen. You're not going to make 100 cent. But if you make 500 pounds, you can then start to train yourself. Build in a better trading plan to make sure you get a withdrawal. In the end of the day, these are some huge pros and some huge huge cons about the prop firm industry i hope you have enjoyed this video i've enjoyed making it as i said to you more content's coming out one every two days we're going to talk about prop firms live accounts trading strategies gold all of this stuff on my channel i appreciate thank you for watching take care much love and i'll see you in the next one good luck on these prop firm challenges peace